A lot of people have been telling me to watch Don't F With Cats, a documentary series on Netflix of a serial killer. There's a part in it where they go to Etobicoke. Okay, it's pronounced Etobicoke, but the guy said Etobicoke. Well, when I was watching this series, I realized not far from Toronto. Let's go check it out this morning. eeriest things about that series is like I grew up in this area I went to summer camp in this area and so to see it on a Netflix documentary that is so international so chilling to know that it happened like in such a familiar area for me yeah 340 Mill Road I believe in the series the guy said 304 Mill Street it's uh it's not I don't think I would have ever watched the series Don't F*** With Cats until I got a comment on YouTube from Charlotte, actually, who's a huge supporter of me, Shot and Forgot, came to a meetup of mine in the UK. She wrote that this reminds her of the series and the Internet Detectives, and so I watched it. This is the building that Luca Magnata lived in when he was in Toronto, and I, I think this is where he did the cat-killing videos, which is pretty disturbing. We look at photos, we zoom in, we try to figure out where this might be and get more information. And like that series is a perfect example of how far you can actually get. It's messed up the things that happen in there. So won't you say you love me? I'd make you so proud of me. Little bit of a different intro to this episode. For Sean Forgot, I bought a box of random 35 millimeter film slides from an auction. The whole idea of this series is to go through them randomly and kind of zoom in on the photo to see if we can get a location, a person, any sort of information we don't already know. With that documentary, it's kind of the same thing. Guys, this is episode number five of Sean Forgot season two. We are halfway through the season. Let's get into it. If you guys see anything in this photo that you know or any information that you can get from them, Please comment it down below or DM me on Instagram at Danocracy. Uh, you guys play a major role in this series. Photo number one. Okay, we have what looks to be a island. It's got the red roof, the sand walls. Kind of looks like Montenegro from last episode. Got a little cafe here, a little tropical plant here. Okay, no signs, nothing. Let's take a look at the slide. Of course there's writing on it. The slide says Hotel Argentina. Dubrovnik, Yugoslavia, which is now Croatia. All right, let's Google this. Hotel Argentina, Dubrovnik, there it is. Oh wow, this looks nice. Red roof, kind of like the beige side walls. It's gotta be flipped then, based on these photos. I think it's gotta be like that. See, because if this is the part that's sticking out, let's do satellite. That's the hotel. This must be like the deck where the photo's actually taken. So this is the hotel, Hotel Argentina. But we gotta get like on the other side of it. Looking at this, the pool would be like right here. Can we go over here? Maybe we can get like a glance. No. Anyways, this one's already done for us. It's, it's Hotel Argentina in Dubrovnik, Croatia. Next photo. Yes, we got a person. Thank you. I've wanted people. I want more real life moments, less landscape. We haven't had a lot of people this season, so it's very difficult to tell if we've seen her before. It says credit. Leonis, front of the garden. The slide says August of 1982, and it's got a star. Only thing with these stars is that usually it's Europe. So we got Credit Leonis, Leonis. What does that say? Same thing. Any sort of language we could pick up on? No. What is she holding? Is that a, like a tape recorder or probably a camera? We got a purse. We have not seen this woman before. Let's go ahead and search Credit Leona, Leonese. Oh, I hate that so bad. Credit Canada, France. Oh my, oh my God, it's Leon, Leon, France. France locations. It looks like a tropical place. There's a whole bunch in France, but just based off this photo alone, this is clearly the south of France. Let's look at the Nice one. Oh man, there's a whole bunch in Nice. Oh my God. Oh shoot. Credit Leon, nice Nice. 
It is not Nice. We have structures that are built on the hills. You can't see what that is. South of France. The tricky thing is that that location may not even be under that company anymore. In this photo, we've got like tropical trees, like palm trees, cliff or a hill where homes are built on it, which a lot of the south of France is like that. Let's look at Monaco. Like these buildings kind of look ish like it. Maybe even like the bus could help, right? Because we have a city bus here that is white. Let's look that up really quick, actually. Nice, France. City bus, 1982. So in 1982, Nice had buses that were white and green. We don't even know if that's a city bus to be honest, but next photo. Yes, another woman. Not the same woman. I could almost guarantee that. Oh, look at these cars. These are so cool. Look at this truck. California textile shop yardage. Don't know what that says. Something marked. This is another star one. This is June of 1977. All right, so let's Google search California textile shop yardage. Too generic. Yardage, I think, is like the, the length or like the type that you can buy. Kind of like wholesale. So yardage is not gonna be a helpful word for us. We're gonna need to figure out what this says, or at least a street name. There's a street name right there. We can't freaking see it though. Look, it's tropical. Can we see the plates? No, no, it's covered by flowers. I don't think this is Europe at all, which is weird because we have a star on the slide. Ex Expo Mart? Does it say Expo Mart? I don't know what that says, jobs, something. These look pretty unique. These are street lights. California business directory. Business search. Okay, corporation name, let's just try it. California textile shop. <sighs> No matching entities. California Street Lamps 1977. None of these. Okay guys, I don't know. Leave that one up to you. Next photo. We got a house. We got some newspapers at the end of their driveway. Very classic. Nice little shot, nice truck. Very well landscaped bushes and grass. We get an address here. No, it's the mailbox. Makes you wonder why they don't just put the newspaper in the mailbox. This is June. Oh, beautiful. That last photo we just saw was June of 1977. This photo is June of 1977 and it's got a star. So basically if we get one, we get the other. If we could figure out where this photo is taken, then at least we can go to like the city center and kind of go down the streets and figure out where the second one was taken. Like bottles of lotion in the window. There's no address. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna get this. Next photo. Another person. So she is married. It's her left hand. It is her birthday. Happy birthday, Kathy. We finally have a name. Kathy says, send back. <laughs> Poor Kathy. I guess they didn't like the quality of this photo or something. Remember this face, guys. Because this is the first one that we actually have, a, I think, a name to. Oh, we got a wedding. How does somebody lose their wedding photos? We have somebody's wedding photos. Like this is the stuff we have to return because this means nothing to me. I mean, it looks like it means nothing to him either because he does not look happy on his wedding day. The slide says this is a Kodachrome duplicate. This could be a photo that for like their wedding gift in the cards they gave this out because this is not the original. No year, no name, nothing. Like, come on, don't you realize that like you're missing your wedding photos? Next photo. This is definitely a photo of a TV screen. You can just tell based off of like, it's being round and the lines. What does this say? Europe, it says Europe. B, is that a B E? This is number 34 on a balance beam. June of 1977, again. Oh, maybe this is Summer Olympics. Oh no, they're in Montreal in 1976. Europe, 1977 Summer Games. What is that called, a balance beam? Balance beam number 34. Okay, we're getting someone's name. It's coming up a few times. Nadia Kamenetsi? Nancy? Nadia Kamenetsi. I mean, yeah, she's a brunette, but it looks like the same outfit, like a white outfit. Look, she's got like the, the braid or the, the ribbon in her hair. She's got a ribbon in her hair. That's gotta be this girl. Oh, high, high beam. 1976 American Cup, no. It would be Europe. 1979, no. Oh my God. Oh my God, 1977 Europeans double A beam. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, we found it, we found it. Guys, look up here, same writing. Two letters, one, two, something. Like that's gotta be Europe. Yeah, Europe. We actually found the actual video of what this person was watching. Wait, wait, hold on, does that say 38 though? Wait, that looks like her number says 38 though. Whoa, 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 whoa. This says she's number 38. This is 34. 
but this is 100% the same thing. This photo is clearly number 34, but the writing is there. It's the same place, guaranteed. Damn, I thought for sure we had it. Guys, it's the same building though. Next photo. <laughs> This is a cute little baby. You guys missing some teeth. Wait, it looks like if that is a wedding ring, this needs to be flipped. Wedding ring is now on his ring finger this way. Tinker and Frank. Oh my God, his name's Tinker. Summer of 1952. So I'm guessing this is Tinker and this is Frank. <laughs> Who the f names her kid Tinker? I love it though. It's a cute photo though. 1952. What's that in the grass? Pack of smokes? All right, next photo. Oh, damn. Oh, whoa. We have a, oh my God. Follow me here. Last episode, we had a picture that was in Bucharest, Romania of this old guy wearing all black, black rimmed glasses, just fully staring at the camera. And he's got the camera too. This is the same guy. It's gotta be the same guy. This is September of 1963. This is one of the blue numbered ones. Still don't know what those mean, but the same pose. That's like the same guy, right? You got him kind of like hunched over. You got like his little glass or his camera here and he's holding it. Same thing. Who taught this guy how to pose? That's gotta be the same guy. Come on. That is such a cool connection. That's for sure the same guy. I just don't know where this is. It's like very steep mountains. And this is September of 1963. Next photo. Ooh, like I picked these from different parts of the box. Let's see if this has a blue mark. If so, this has gotta be the same spot. Look at the, look at the landscape. Oh my God. We've got a connection. Blue writing, it says Italy 157. What does the other one say? <gasps> September of 1963, oh my God. This was the Glass Cafe one, 158. This is the current one, 157 Italy. That's Italy. Those numbers have finally come in handy. Maybe Lake, Lake Como. Lake Como, Italy. This is Lake Como, it's gotta be. Look at the, look at the mountains. We've got mountain, mountain, like in the back, mountain. This guy could have been somewhere where the lake is at its most narrow. So the photo could have been taken right here, could have taken here, any actually anywhere down here too. All right, cause it kind of looks like the lake goes that way. If this is the right aspect. Next photo. <clears throat> Some buildings in the mountains again. Oh, it needs to be flipped though, cause that says cafe, but it's backwards. It says cafe, can't see the rest of that word. Kafa, K-A-F-A, I feel like Peaceful this little like trail looks. It goes off into these mountains. Does the slide say anything? Holy sh I just got the chills. What the f are the odds of this? They must have picked these from the same part of the box then. 158 was the indoor cafe shot with our old man friend. 157 was like Lake Como, Italy. And now we have 156 and it says Switzerland. Those are one, two, and three. This is Switzerland. He was in Switzerland first then would have gone to Lake Como, Italy, and then would have gone to Bucharest, all over here. Cause this says Switzerland. All right, next photo. <gasps> what the fuck? Thank you. We are start, we've seen enough photos in the box. We are starting to piece it together. We have our lady friend that is in all pink again. In this photo, which is the way it's supposed to be, cause you can tell the writing, she's got the watch on her left wrist. Pink outfit, white purse. Pink outfit, white purse, except the watch is on her right, which means this photo needs to be flipped. There's a lot to work with here because this is a big fountain in a garden. There's no writing on the slide. This is August of 1982 and it's a star one. Yeah, August of 1982. That was the original one. Clearly this is the same day. So if we could figure out where this photo is taken, we could figure out where photo number one is taken. Oh my God, this is getting so good. What we have is a swan, we've got some ducks, we have a fountain with another fountain inside of it. Not only is it in the same episode, but she's wearing the same friggin' outfit. We've not seen this woman in anything else. Where would this be? Like, it looks like it's in the middle of a forest. Just for the sake of fun, I wanna leave this up to you because I do think if we spend enough time, I can figure this out. There is two photos connected to this. So where one of them is, you're gonna get the second one. Both taken in August of 1982. There you guys have it. That is episode five of Shot and Forgot season two. If you guys know anything and you're able to connect these, please let me know on Instagram, at Danocracy, or comment down below. If you are enjoying Shot and Forgot, we're halfway through the season. Subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later. Be my, be my, be my